ABC. This is World News Tonight with Max Robinson in Chicago, Peter Jennings in London, Barbara Walters' special reports, and tonight a comment from Howard K. Smith and from our Washington desk, Frank Reynolds. Good evening and welcome to the first broadcast of the World News Tonight. Speaking for all the men and women of ABC News, I promise you an accurate, responsible, and meaningful report on events at home and abroad. We are aware of our responsibility to you, and we intend to meet it. The Space Agency says the Skylab Space Station has developed power problems again and is rolling in orbit. NASA experts say, however, they think they can regain control of the Skylab, which is being kept in position for docking with a manned space shuttle in late 1979. In Houston today, a new group of astronauts began preparing for space shuttle missions, including the first women astronauts and the first blacks. Science editor Jules Bergman reports. This is Judy Resnick, age 29. She has a doctorate in electrical engineering and is one of America's first woman astronauts. She and 34 other new astronauts began their training today at the Johnson Space Center. There are five other women and three blacks in Judy's group. One of the blacks, Air Force Major Fred Gregory, says he hopes he was picked for his flying ability and not his color. As a matter of fact, he was picked for both. Washington ordered that blacks and women be included in the new astronaut program. None of the six women are test pilots, though one flies small planes. They are physicians, scientists, and engineers like Judy Resnick. Titled mission specialists, they will handle experiments and logistics during space shuttle flights. Judy Resnick's already been measured for space helmet and suit. What kind of mission do you want to fly, do you know? I'd like to fly any mission, actually. Um, the intent of a mission specialist is to train us to be generalists and to learn a little bit about every field and I don't really have any anything particular in mind right now I'd, I'd be glad to find anything that they let me fly astronaut Resnick got here early and has flown backseat of the t-38 jet trainer NASA is using her to test some of its training procedures for women so almost 20 years after the first astronauts were chosen NASA finally has women and black astronauts they'll be flying aboard the space shuttle in two years this is Jules Bergman, ABC News, at the Johnson Space Center, Houston.